first. Our first. Welcome to the mustache and the beard.com. Two great geeks. Changing the world one post at a time. Today, a very special treat. Geek Side administrator uh, asked, his name was Atreyu the God. Right. He's, he saw that they were talking about a comic series. Right. And Lance the Obscure Movie Guy said, it's time for the Mustache and the Beard to do one of their famous reviews. And they both agree. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, um, King of Spies. That's the comic. And the comic. it'll be our saver number one A, which you came up with the name. And so, my name is Louis Matos. I am the Mustache. And as always, I am here with my bestest buddy, Junior Figueroa. A.K.A. The Beard, coming to you live from sunny Puerto Rico. Only it started raining, so I don't think it's... Uh, no, I can call exactly. it sunny. <laughs> yeah, it was such a beautiful I day before. You, were... you jinxed it. <laughs> I, <think> it was <laughs> I was saying, oh my God, it was such a beautiful day. Look at that sky and it started <laughs> raining. It's so great to be alive. And Mother Nature does not like me. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to do our saber number one A, right. because we only have the first two episodes two, of the miniseries issue, yeah. issues, right? Two issues. And so, yeah, we're, that's, we're going to have some fun. Yes. Thank you to Atreyu the God and, uh, and, Lance. and Lance the uh, the obscure movie guy. We love you both. Alrighty. So, we always start with background. Background. King of Spies is a four-issue comic book miniseries right. uh, written by Mark Millar and drawn by Matteo Scalera. Right. All right, so Millar is a very familiar name. Mm -hmm. He's a Scottish writer who worked for Marvel Ultimate X-Men, The Ultimates, Marvel Knights, Spider-Man, Civil War, and Wolverine, Old Man Logan, Old which Man both Logan. became movies. Right, right. Hit movies, in fact. Um, for DC, he did Superman, mm -hmm. Red Sun, and Swamp Thing. For Image, he decided to create his own universe, Millar World, in which Kingsman is part of them. So, <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yes. Uh, uh, that I did not know. Yeah, he did Kingsman, he did Kick-Ass, mm -hmm. uh, and Superior. You remember him. Right. So, uh, And he executive produced all of his comics to film so he's all he's been working um, as a creative consultant for the Fox division oh so he's making sure that it's done right right so Marvel yeah the, Spider the Spider-Man movies Fantastic Four and the X-Men stuff so all of the Fox stuff but in 2017 Netflix bought Millar World because he was like I'm too busy like, and what did they do? He, he did it to buy, to, to be less busy. Um, Netflix hired him as their creative consultant <laughs> for Millar World and hired his wife. Ah, <laughs> they got it through the side door. To be CEO of Millar World for Netflix. So King of, of Spies is scheduled to be. Uh, 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 live action. Oh, that is so <laughs> cool. So it's that scheduled so for sometime cool. in 2023. So, I mean, Netflix, we're going to see a lot of his properties move mm -hmm. to Netflix. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. 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 How's that the background? Um, so we generally go to the plot. Right. Um, you want to? Yeah, I'll read it. Okay. The world's greatest secret agent has six months to live. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> does he die quietly in a hospital bed, or does he make up for a lifetime of bad decisions? He's been propping up an unfair system for over 40 years. Now, he knows where all the bodies are buried and has nothing to lose when he turns his guns on everyone who has ever made a buck creating the mess we're in right now. Yes. Awesome. Yeah! Yeah, it's a good series, uh, but so far they only have two episodes, so we're going to be talking about those, those two. Right. Okay. Um, I'm calling this video 1A because of the two episodes, right? right? The two issues. I keep calling them episodes. I think. It's, it's okay. Um, they're very cinematic. Yeah, okay. they're very episodic. The artwork is dynamic, 
Yes. And gory. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but beautiful. Beautiful. <coughs> I love the artwork. May I answer one? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I, I love I love the artwork here because the, of course this isn't the first uh, secret agent comic that's ever come out. No. Right? But, but so often with, with secret agent comics, they hire an artist that is, um, it's, not a, it's, not, yeah, it's not his milieu. He's like a, a superhero artist so that the, the uh, secret agent comic doesn't look like a secret agent comic. It looks more like a superhero comic. That is not the case here. This looks like a secret agent comic, a secret agent story, and it is beautiful. It's an adult book with nudity and profanity. It has suggestive themes, uh, pictures conveying adult themes. So, yeah, they hint that stuff, but I mean, it's not very, I mean, you know what's going on. Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> give this comment to your six-year-old. Really. No. <laughs> yeah, so very clearly it's an adult comic, like I said, gory. Headshots is... <laughs> it's, like, it's like he is a. Uh, <clears throat> All right, so he's an ace assassin who goes for headshots, and the artist Matteo Scalera is great at conveying the action. He is. He okay. is. He is absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So now we can talk about you know uh, anything you wanted to specifically talk about. In this, uh, did you want us to talk about anything specifically? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. Um, yeah. I love this. I love the comics. I, I, I absolutely loved it. Uh, King of Spies, and I love the fact that the hero's name is Roland King. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called King of Spies. And and I love the fact that he is so, in his own way, so uh, James Bond like. Not that he's a ripoff. He is not a ripoff of James Bond. It's just that he's cut. From the same cloth, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm comfortable with that. And then he he he, he uh, experiences an, uh, an epiphany, having only six months left to live, and he wants to make up for what he did. What he did for 40 years for king and country, but it wasn't always the right thing to do. And now he wants to do the right thing to do. I think that's a very very interesting idea. Absolutely. And, and and the only, and it's not a complaint, the only thing that I I, I, I think maybe they, they should do or, or they should have done is uh, Roland King is really on his own. And I would have liked to have seen him have a supporting cast, cast because, I mean, uh, what, what's Superman without Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen, and Perry White? You know, what's Batman without uh, Commissioner Gordon and Alfred and, and, and Robin? Uh, what's uh, Spider-Man without J. Jonah Jameson and, 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 uh, and uh, Harry Osborn and, and, and Mary Jane? You know, that, that sort of thing. Maybe that's coming. Maybe it's better that, 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 that it, it doesn't have. Uh, I could be completely wrong. I've only read the first two. Mm -hmm. There's two more, more left. Um, Maybe I'm talking on my wazoo, but that's the that's the only minute uh, um, suggestion that, that that I would make about this book. I love that it starts off in the 1970s. Uh, I'm sorry, 1990s right. with uh, so it it it, fla it it flashes forward mm -hmm. after you know we hear mm -hmm. some of his background, see him in action right. in his youth and his youth, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, very, in in that way, it's very uh, 007. Yes, yes, very much. That first. Very much. Yeah. Yes. Um, and how did he get there? I don't know, but he got there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so. No, don't stop. Don't uh, analyze. Just keep reading. Just yeah. keep reading. And <laughs> the, the, in the, at, at the, the end of that prologue, we see the detritus of what's left, of you know what he left, and we see some of that detritus come back. back. Yes, <laughs> come back to haunt him. Yes, yes. it is. Yeah, yes. and so and and you have 
henchmen that are going to be, I mean, visually gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and for a horror guy, that is just, oh my God, delicious. <laughs> so, you know, you were talking about uh, supporting characters. What would otherwise be a supporting character in any other comic book would be, you know, your son. Your son. <laughs> Not in your this son. one. No! <laughs> The sun is his arch enemy. Uh huh. It is also an assassin. Yes, it, it, it's the younger version of him. Uh huh. On boy, does he hate his, his dad? Uh huh. And actually, you know, it's a kind of a play on on, 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 on a familiar theme in in, um, in comics. That usually it's a brother, you know, Thor and Loki. Mm -hmm. uh, but in this case, no, it's father and son. Holy mackerel! An elite assassin that. Now, mind you, uh, Roland, now he knows he's got six months to live and he's going to start killing because he he wants to clean up the messes that he felt he made in his past. Right. And so, they, the, the British government can't get a handle on him. No. Nope. So, who do they send? They send their next best assassin. <laughs> his son. <laughs> awesome. Delicious. So then who is the king of spies? Roland? Uh, or, or, or his son? Uh, what was his son's name? Something King. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it, was, it was similar to... I don't know. Julian to, King? I don't know. It, it something similar to Roland. So who's, who's the king of spies? Um, basically, I agree with you. The, I, I love the artwork. The artwork is perfect for yes. this kind of comic. Um, so we can't speak enough about that. Mm -hmm. Um, because this is a very visual, I mean, like the henchman, <laughs> yeah. that's an awesome visual. Yeah. Uh, the, the fact that the writing is, is great. I mean, I, I told it's you about Mark, on, but, yeah, Mark but, Millar. But, but yeah, you'd expect it from him. Yeah, so um, the person that did Kingsman, this is not Kingsman, the, uh, uh, very similar to James Bond, except that he's not as uh, suave, right? Um, that's the only thing. I mean, he's more of an assassin. Right. I mean, right. right. Which is, which makes sense. Uh huh. Um, and aside from that, you know, I, I mean, the writing I told you is great. The the panels are perfect. The pacing. Uh, just, oh. And and you know because we've only seen the first two, I don't think we've spoiled anything other than you right. Know, we're trying very hard not to. Right. There are surprises. Uh huh. There are there are ton. Of, of, of surprises and, and, and that, that we hope are enjoyable. Yeah. Anyway, I know I'm enjoying reading the comic. Right. The first two episode uh, issues, I keep calling them episodes. Okay. That's because we keep doing TV stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and <clears throat> I really appreciate a train of the God and uh, Lance bring these, brings our, our you know, attention. Yes. yes. Because otherwise, it, 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 it would have missed it. We would have missed it. It would have escaped our attention. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. And since I want to try and keep this short, because I know what next one's coming in, our last three videos have been <laughs> more than 45 minutes each. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, guess what? We're going to stop talking. So, as so, usual, when we come to the end of a, uh, of a video, um, we wanted to make this a short video because we're going to have more. Right. Um, so therefore, um, I ask you to share a wise missive. I don't have a wise missive, but I do have a, a, a message. I want to talk to Lance. Lance, baby. Lance, uh, my friend, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, your concern over my health. Thank you for pitching in and, and uh, uh, writing an article uh, uh, to substitute for me. Thank you for, for, for everything. You're, you're an ace guy, and I just wanted to say that here uh, to, to everyone. You are an ace guy, and if you haven't checked out his stuff on YouTube, check it out. This guy knows what he's talking about, and he's funny as hell. So, so, so check it out. I'm a fan. You'll be a fan, too. Yeah. Love you, Lance. The Obscure Movie Guy. The Obscure Movie Guy. On YouTube. Absolutely. On YouTube. Absolutely. And Facebook. And Facebook, that's right. All right. Um, so I wanted to tell, say something because we've been uh, our last video, which was uh, our our 
autopsy plus number six. Right. Where we talked about no time to no die. No time to die. Uh, which was a little, a little long. And <laughs> we couldn't stop talking. Yeah. We were gushing. I, I mean, even though we had problems with it, we loved it. Um, it's it had over fifty two Twitter interactions, which for me. It's a lot, a lot. <laughs> so yeah, uh, people are looking at my Twitter. <laughs> yeah. And you always have your Twitter out there. I uh, know. All right, so I wanted to share that, that yes, we are, uh, people are interacting with my Twitter, and I appreciate it very much. All right, and um, also on, on Twitter, I, uh, yesterday I was messing around and I wrote, uh, I saw a picture online because you know you get lost online, mm -hmm. and I saw a wall, and um, I saw it, and there was a little picture focused on just another, <laughs> and so I started laughing because you know just another brick in the wall, <laughs> uh, Pink Floyd. So I. Retweeted, and so I'm telling you, it was not my original tweet. But guess what? Uh, Graham Nash, um, of Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, uh huh, became a Twitter follower <laughs> <laughs> because of that. Because of the tweet, <laughs> um, he didn't say anything other than you know on on his Twitter it says uh, private profile of. Graham Nash. And I was like, wait, that name sounds familiar. And then it's like, oh, our house <laughs> is a very, very, very <laughs> fine house. <laughs> so yeah, I, I immediately made the, connotate, uh, the, the connection. And so I am appreciative that we have a new Twitter follower, Graham Nash. Graham Nash. <laughs> And they're they're in you know they're in uh, online now because um, their stuff got they they took their stuff off of Spotify. Oh really? Yes, because of um, Rogan. So they uh, and they started a whole onslaught of pe uh, people uh, artists saying we don't want our stuff on Spotify because mm -hmm. you know so. Listen, I think this is them trying to make up for, you know, their audience, mm -hmm. but I wanted to say that was something positive, even though it's not, you know, uh, your wise missive. Right. But no. it's appreciative yes. that we, we are appreciative of those people that follow us, and we love shouting you out. Yes, absolutely. All right. So, if you don't have anything else? No, that's it. Okay. With that having been said... My name is Louis Matos. As always, we say thank you for watching. Junior Figueroa, I be the beard. We say see you later. Hasta la vista. Take it easy. And peace.